I'm Rich Lyon and you're watching Chris Morton TV. Hey guys, it's Chris from Morton TV here and welcome back to another video and today's video is another Morton video. Today's video is our Morton match day review in the game against Dundee v Morton in the Lapis Chips match. The game is live at, uh, on BBC Scotland at 7.05 kickoff. So, <clears throat> it's going to be a really tough test for Morton today and this is a away game and this season Morton haven't won away all season in the league. Last league, no, last away win was in the uh, Betfred Cup against and in Athletic when we won 5 0. So, uh, we need to pick up points tonight if, if we want to uh, continue to climb up the table. We have to win tonight. So, my prediction for the match. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go positive. I'm gonna. Go, I was negative a whole week, saying we're gonna get beat three 0 But I'm. I'm today. I was kind of positive we're going to win today. So I'm gonna go for a two one win for Morton. Hoping we were right. So let's get into the game. And tonight, I've uh, got a, a a YouTuber on my video tonight. Is and today's. Uh, YouTuber is got on my video's name is 1885 Ben. So Ben, what is your prediction for today's game? Dundee versus Morton. My prediction for that game is going to be a tight Dundee win. They have been scoring goals in the last two games. They've had two wins on the trot, one against Ayr and one against Alawa. Morton themselves, they've had a loss and a win in the last two games. It's a tough fixture to really call, but I think Dundee are just the more on form team so they'll just scrape it on Friday night. Thanks for your prediction and it's a possibility we can lose tonight Ben so I'm not disheartened on your prediction so I respect your prediction so let's hope we can get a win tonight Morton so the team I'm just waiting on the team lineup and I'll give it to you in a few minutes and it's and for me, an hour's time, because the kick line should be out for 6 o'clock. So, let's get into the match. Let's get to the line-ups, and here, we, here are your line-ups. And here are your line-ups. Starting with, and Morton goal today is Sam Ransbottom, uh, Stephen Wells, Peter Grant, Kyle Jacob, Chris Miller, Jim McAllister, Robbie Muirhead, Bob McHugh, uh, Cameron Selkirk, Lewis Drapp, and... Jack Baird on the bench for Morton is Brian McLean, Aidan Nesbitt, Reese Lyons, Cameron Bruce, John Sutton and Billy King. And Danny Rogers is a difficult uh, lineup tonight so I hope we can be proved wrong. Come on it on! Half time at Dens Park is Dundee now, Morton now. Uh, Dundee was a bit aside in the first half and half to eight, 20 minutes and Morton got into the game a bit. Uh, have, I don't think we had a few good chances but we had like corners and maybe one corner was a good corner but nothing to take. Uh, Moorhead had one shot but it was going wide. Dundee had probably a good shots and all that but uh, Lambsbottom had a good a one good, I think he made a save and one just went past the post. Uh, but we defended really, we, to be honest, we're defending really well at the moment, so we, I'm happy with that. So we need to move on t into the second half and try to get me our goals, and try to get a goal and settle the Dundee's nerves. Because I think we're playing all right, we're not, we're not, bit, we're not playing bad, we're playing all right at the moment. So we just need to get into the second half and try to get a goal. So let's get into the second half. Come on, it on. Full time. At Dens Park, Dundee 2, Morton 1, and a game I didn't think we deserved to lose that at the end. Uh, for the first half, it probably be mostly Dundee. Uh, we defended really well, and they, des uh, they probably deserved to be a 1 0 up at the half time, but we defended really well, and we uh, dealt with their pressure, and we've done all right. Uh, we pulled all the light in the first two, after half after the twenty first minute mark we played all right played good football I thought we did so we need to move on to the second half in the second half we started a bit same as the first half they were all over us but they got a goal with a good corner a good ball whipped in by Graham Dawes and Kim Hennings he equalised but we uh, it made it one 0 but we equalised the 
straight away uh, with a good ball in from uh, Robbie Muirhead and a fantastic uh, finish by Cameron Selkid in a tight angle but um, we made it 1-1. Uh, I did it uh, for we played better since the, after the goal we uh, created a couple of no, half chances but we should have taken Bob McHugh had a good one and that should have been in uh, should have played it a bit and then take a shot but it just chased it and he had it and just passed uh, over the bar but a draw I thought would have, for us would have been a fair result and got us uh, a point away from home get a point away from home but in the second uh, then not a good play from Graham Dollars best player for Dundee tonight to be fair and pass it to the Ness and Ness put it to pack in the ball back in it. But we did have a. We, at the end, we were fighting and trying to get an equaliser. We almost got it, but we never managed to get it. So, disappointed we didn't get a result tonight because I thought we played. I thought the performance was much better tonight. I thought we played okay. We kept our shape. Alright. We didn't. De made two mistakes with the goals, to be fair. We should have. Dealt with him to be particular, be honest with you, but we should have dealt with him, but better. But kind of playing the boys for the effort tonight. So, my my match tonight, I'm going to give it to Cameron Salkid. I thought he worked really, really hard tonight. So, and he got a, a first goal because he's but he probably had three goals already. We'd have got a uh, a uh, chop, a uh, three of them got chopped off. So that would have been his fourth goal of the season if the three of them could have counted earlier in the season. But today he got his first goal of the season and I'm pretty, very happy for him. So my man matches Cameron and Selkid. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment. Uh, if you enjoyed it, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Until the next video will be... There will be no videos next week, so there will be the next one on the 16th of uh, November against Aberoff. So goodbye.